Welcome back, people. Hope you all enjoyed our last video. If you have not watched it yet, please do check it out. So in today's episode, we've 15 scary ghost videos that will give you major shudders. Stay tuned to the end of the video. And yes, if you don't want to miss our videos, then please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Let's get started. Number 15. Our first video comes from the channel Ghost Deck Paranormal Investigations. Becky, Jeff, and Mark went off to investigate the supposedly haunted fort. The investigation took a terrifying turn when Mark noticed strange activity coupled with a ghostly voice, suggesting that he might not be alone in the fort. Unfazed, the group moved toward the known demon hotspot and almost instantly came upon a shocking incident. Let me start again, that was really strange because something's just turned my camera off. Um, you can probably hear on that camera the, the noise of the camera being switched off. I was obviously nowhere near it, so I've had to start recording again. Well, right, um, as I was saying, my name's Mark. I've come a long way to visit. If there is someone with me at the moment, and the person who, or spirit that turned my camera off, do you see these flashing lights here? If you come over and touch the metal antenna, it will make a noise and let me know you're here. So, would there be any chance you could do that or make a noise to let, so I know you're here? Just heard a strange noise come from down there. Could you do that again, please? Thought I heard a voice then. Movement comes from the stairs next to Mark, which is then followed by a disembodied voice saying, I'm Martin. Here is the enhanced audio. Just heard a strange noise come from down there. Could you do that again, please? Thought I heard a voice then. Just heard a strange noise come from down there. Could you do that again, please? Thought I heard a voice then. So I just thought we'd go. So I just thought we'd cut my coat and zip it. Have you ever? You okay? Yeah, yeah, just freak me out. No, my coat went like that. So, this is what they call the demonic area. Can you shout out, speak to us, or make some sort of noise so we know that you are here and that you're listening to us? Something's moving. Is that you? Can you make another loud noise? So 
so my name is Jeff, and the lady there holding the camera, her name is Becky. Can we ask what your name is, please? If you can hear my voice, shout out as loud as you can. If you can't shout out, then please throw something, move something. There's lots of things here that you can do. Can you do that now for us, please? Okay, well, I guess... You have made a noise to let us know that you're here. Are you able to approach us? We don't mean you no harm. And we hope that you mean us no harm. We don't mean you no harm. We don't mean you no harm. I don't know if you can see the little flashy lights on the ground here. But if you, there's a, there's a little aerial sticking up um, where the lights are. And if you go near that aerial, you can it all just make a little buzzy noise and that way I'll know you're with me. Thank you. Hello sweetheart, what's your name? What's your name darling? Can you tell me your name on this red light here? Can you tell me what your name is? Did you like the flashy lights? See if you can do it again. Someone is moving over there. Some, uh, there was a big movement of something. I'm afraid I'm going to have to put the torch on, I'm sorry. What the hell is that? Who's down there? Make yourself known. See if you can do it again. Someone is moving over there. Some, uh, there was a big... Who is that? What is that? Whoever you are, stop shuffling around up there. Who are you? Now, Laura, I don't know if you if you came, if you've been in to see me, but if you're further down at the end of the tunnel, throw something. Wow.
someone's moving. Now down there, there is like a stone floor, gravel floor, and it sounded like dragging on that gravel floor. Who's down there? Who's down there? The team was more disturbed by the audible evidence of loud, forceful banging coming from a nearby area. After Mark had the unpleasant sensation of feeling someone yanking on his coat. Despite the increasing commotion, Jeff and Becky decided to enter one of the lengthy hallways known for reports of seeing shadow figures. When the team asked questions, they were quickly answered, adding to the eerie ambiance that permeated the fort. The research became more intense as the crew was greeted with a succession of pounding noises and a disembodied voice responding to Jeff's questions. Unfazed by the unsettling events, Becky decided to carry out an independent inquiry, breaking off from the group to investigate Fort's mysteries in further detail but she had no idea how bizarre the course of events would be for her. Becky was alone in the stifling blackness of the tunnel when she heard the distinct sound of shuffling feet resonating through the emptiness. She quickly used her flashlight to brighten her surroundings as she felt the unsettling presence of the unseen entity, which was running away as if it were trying to avoid being noticed. But instead of going away, the unnerving activity seemed to be getting worse casting a darker shadow of fear over Becky's lonely watch in the tunnel. As the noise of approaching footfall intensified, Becky became more uncomfortable, feeling more exposed and nervous. She quickly retreated from the tunnel, desperate to get away from its unsettling presence. Driven by Becky's story, Jeff made the decision to step in for her and explore the tunnel by himself to see whether the eerie behavior continued without her. Jeff looked carefully for anyone or anything that could have made the eerie sound. But when he got closer to the source of the footfall coming from the end of the dark tunnel, he found nothing. His senses were sharpened in anticipation as he stood there, confused but unfazed. And that's when something spooky was recorded on his digital recorder. An eerie hint as to the origin of the unexplained activity inside the tunnel could be found in the ghostly voice that Jeff's digital recorder managed to capture. With this convincing data at their disposal, the team came to the terrifying conclusion that there was a sinister force within Fort's walls. Number 14. This next video comes from the channel Outdoor Xiaolong. This time, Xiaolong made the decision to visit a haunted hotel that had been closed for a while. He heard tales of a woman's ghost being seen there, so he decided to look into the location, and this is what he was able to capture. Oh, <laughs> 
全没有，妈！转！转！你妈说那小黑给我发图来，这是反着影吗？这不是吧？有时候啊啊啊叫啊！给你们看一眼去啊！我操！操你妈的！出来！操你妈！嗯，出来！啊啊！撒完了
女儿啊，操你妈的！操你妈！你妈了个逼！我过去是吧？哎，我过去啊！哎，我过你妈！傻逼才过去，开来来来来！来，开门！能耐呢？你看我跟他刚不刚啊，兄弟们？这电梯从上次来它就有毛病，今天来更有毛病，一次比一次厉害。不行事了，不好使了，那两下子呢？满拽的又开了！啊！啊！啊！我操你妈的，老子又啥玩意了？哎，看着我！啊 ！He heard smashing glass and plates during one of the investigation's moments. And when he crossed the dining area, he unintentionally recorded a terrifying shadow at the door at the end of the space. For the following few minutes, Xiao Long encountered mysterious happenings such as chairs moving in his direction, or malfunctioning elevator doors opening by themselves. What he managed to capture in the aftermath was very terrifying. Then Xiao Long chose to go to the basement of the hotel. Since the basement was flooded, He had to stand on the steps and continue filming. However, he spotted an enigmatic, terrifying woman who appeared for a little while before vanishing without leaving any trace. Following this eerie encounter, he went back upstairs and recorded this. The elevator opened by itself at one point as he was filming, and a strange woman's form appeared from below. What are your thoughts? Number thirteen. The next video was uploaded by a channel named Irwin Saunders. The user had been investigating a forest for a long time, and asserted that there were tribes of enigmatic animals living there. Um, I think so. Um, can I go now? Over. This isn't good. They've turned up at the worst time. The thing is, if he shuffles back over here, they'll see me. They're interested in him at the moment. When's that over?
when the foxes come, do you mean at night? Over. Owen, over. I'm hoping they'll just get bored with him eventually. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. They're throwing things at the tent. I don't know why he's moving around like that. It's just going to wiggling around. It's going to make it worse. He went there once more, this time with a different person, and was able to record this. In the footage, two enigmatic animals could be seen surveying the surroundings in the distance. What do you think? Number 12. The next video was uploaded by a social media user, Jimena Baron. The user who posted this video claimed to have felt someone touch her when she was at a friend's house. She requested the security camera footage from her pal. This incredibly gruesome video captured the exact moment the mishap happened. Fingers could be detected on her shoulder, but there was nobody behind her. Number 11. This next video was posted by a TikTok user Foul Mitten Outdoors. In the beginning of the video, the uploader was explaining something weird that was happening in the distance and telling whatever it was to get away quickly. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave the place. This is our home. When zoomed in, it could be made out of a strange creature of some kind, prowling the forest, possibly snooping on the guy who took the video. Number 10. The next video was uploaded by TikTok user Tasmanian Tucker. Here, the uploader was seen investigating a purportedly haunted hospital. The individual was seen moving through the hospital's hallways, which undoubtedly gave off an eerie, deserted vibe. Look at that. Right here. <gasps> I heard something up there. <gasps> I heard a voice. I heard a voice. I'm not kidding you. I heard a voice. <laughs> I heard a voice. I heard a fucking voice. <laughs> Look at that. I heard something up there. <laughs> I heard one. The uploader ultimately came to the unexpected revelation that they might not be as alone in there as they had thought. An odd voice could be heard saying something from down a corridor. Then a shadow figure appeared at the end of the corridor and the video ended. What are your thoughts on this? Number 9. The next video was posted by a TikTok user, Benedetta Cariani. The video depicted one of the playground swings.
which appeared to be moving on its own while the swing next to it remained stationary. However, there was something behind the bush that was far more creepy than this. It could be distinguished that something that looked like a spooky face could be detected behind the bush. Number 8. This video was uploaded by a TikTok user Tanner J. Shelton. One evening as Tanner was watching a few children, he unintentionally found himself in the center of something really unsettling. In the first video, Tanner described how he heard laughter coming from some place in the home late at night after putting the kids to bed. All right, here's an update on my last TikTok. Okay, so I ran upstairs to check on the baby and she was fine. I didn't tell the parents because I didn't want them to think I was crazy. And I'm not a superstitious person, but ever since then, I felt off. But when Tanner discovered the noises were coming from the baby's room, he became a little uneasy. He looked at the baby monitor and was horrified to see what he saw. Tanner claimed in the follow-up video that he hurried upstairs right away to see how the baby was doing, and happily, everything was great. The next clip was intended to be just a brief update video where, behind Tanner, a woman wearing a white dress was spotted standing behind him. Tanner claimed in a third video that the baby's parents called him a few days later to inform him that something had occurred to the child. He then showed the video to them. What do you think? Number 7. This next video was uploaded by a TikTok user Kurmashka05. The video showed a man and a few of his buddies filming up towards a window from outside a building somewhere in Russia. Everything appeared to be going according to plan until the man turned off the flashlight which finally showed that they were not alone after all. The man kept turning on and off the light, and each time it did, an eerie shadow figure appeared in the window. What do you think? Number six. This next clip comes from the channel Dr. Hannah Strait. Hannah claimed that the night before, she witnessed something really terrifying. She claimed to have been asleep when she heard someone suddenly rummage through her camp. She peered out the window, intrigued yet frightened, and claimed to have seen a large figure standing there looking through her belongings. She added that, given its strange appearance, whatever she had seen was most obviously not a human. Hannah began filming again during the night, in case the same creature resurfaced. It was astonishing that it did indeed reappear. A lanky, towering and hairy thing was spotted running through the forest and eventually vanished. What do you think about it? Number 5. The next video was posted by a TikTok user, C. Blueism. This video was initially published by a Japanese user, and it was fairly straightforward. A man was filming the interior of the room as he showed off a window behind it, which looked to be a little girl wearing all red. But as soon as one of the males in the room approached the young girl via the window, things started to become strange. The girl forcefully rattled the window and eventually vanished. The guys were completely perplexed as to what transpired. Simultaneously, another video was uploaded, depicting another man attempting to touch the girl on the other side of the glass with equally horrifying outcomes. What do you think? Number 4. The next video was posted by a TikTok user, Domitigen. 
The uploader was lying in bed at night, apparently attempting to get a decent night's sleep, but something kept drawing his attention away from turning off his brain. Jesus. I mean, this is my whole closet right here. This is my kitchen. Suddenly, something really disconcerting caused him to become restless and forced him to get up in order to investigate. The uploader got up and moved around the room to look into it after hearing an unexplainably loud banging sound from somewhere close in the house. The man then opened the door where the loud noises were coming from, but oddly, nothing was visible on the other side. Number 3 this next video was from Reddit user Hasnian42. The video in question depicted two friends going on a late night stroll through the woodland. Nevertheless, a genuinely shocking finding ruined the enjoyment these two buddies were having. They managed to get a glimpse of what looked to be a skinwalker in the flesh prowling near the trees. What do you think? Number 2. This next video was uploaded by an anonymous source. In the clip, the horse, which was being ridden by the guy, slowed down when it noticed something that was frightening. It was not too far away. Something resembling a humanoid being was visible. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section down below. Number 1. Our final creepy video was posted by a TikTok user, Maddie Magarazzi. Maddie was shooting the video at the top of a staircase when he started to breathe heavily and sounded like he was expecting something really scary to happen soon. What the Bro, bro, nobody is home. My family is in Cancun, bro. You gotta be kidding me. Bro. What the f Bentley? Bro, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me right now? What the f Bro! Bro! Holy... Why is this door open? Great! Home alone! And the dogs are freaking out again. And it looks pretty brand new now. And you're serious. Why every time when I'm home alone? And that door was 100% open. What the f*** is that? What the f*** was that? Bro, what was that? It didn't take long before it happened. In the second video, Matty told us that he was just playing games when he spotted his door opening, very gently, on its own. He searched other parts of the home to make sure he was there alone, and sure enough, he was. He looked for the source of the sound, but found nothing. In the third video, Matty was seen exploring his home while his dog started to bark and act strangely. In Maddie's fourth film, he was making his way upstairs when he noticed something spooky in his room, which briefly sent him into a panic. He saw the appearance of a terrifying visage in the doorway. What do you think? And that is going to wrap it up for today, you guys. I hope you liked the video.
Share your thoughts in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so and hit that notification bell. This has been The Haunter and I'll see you in the next video and until then, keep it creepy.